at the Dumb Media, we shall talk about some of the best budget smartphone under $350 that you can get yourself right away. And we shall also tell you all about these devices in detail and whether they're worth your hard earned cash or not. So stay tuned. So for $350, what kind of smartphone can you get? Well, to be amazed, a lot of values as of now that we're entering 2021, there is a whole lot of technology built and packed into a sub $350 smartphone. Number one, Motorola Moto G Power. First up is the Moto G Power. The key feature of this smartphone is the massive battery size. It's averaging up to three days of battery life. That is totally insane. On board, it has a huge 5,000 mAh battery pack that powers the device. That huge battery would definitely be used for those extensive Netflix or YouTube sessions. To make your entertainment experience amazing, it has a pair of dual speakers up front, a 6.4-inch humongous display, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a very reasonable Snapdragon 665 chipset. Such a huge battery has yet another advantage. The battery degradation is not that noticeable. With every other smartphone released in 2020, you might notice that after a year of usage, the battery might not be able to store the charge that well. This is not the case with the Moto G Power's battery, as the size is very massive. So, if you are out there looking for a smartphone that can keep you connected through your trip, for two to three days, then this budget device is the battery king and provides the perfect solution for your battery anxiety. The camera setup is also pretty decent. We are getting a triple camera setup with a 16 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with a 2 megapixel macro lens for taking some decent close up photos of really small objects. We are really glad that Motorola gave the G-Power a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665, which is quite powerful and can handle everyday tasks with ease. On top of all these exciting features, we are getting a very modern design. The front of device is entirely screen, with very minimal bezels. The punch hole camera cutout makes the display and movie experience really pleasing. Lastly, the inconclusion of a USB Type-C port means one less cable to worry about while traveling. Number 2 Next up on our list is the Samsung A51. This is no doubt a great smartphone. Actually, it was one of the best-selling smartphones in Samsung's lineup this year. This holds a true value for money. The A51 by Samsung is kind of a mid-range device in already listed budget segment, so that's a perfect catch to start with. You get a massive screen with almost no bezels, a 6.5-inch Super AMOLED display means those inky deep blacks and saturated color spectrums will be spot on. On the back, we have the quad camera setup with 48 megapixel main shooter, 12 megapixels ultra wide and a pair of 5 megapixel lenses for depth and macro shooting. On top of that, you also get a 32 megapixel selfie camera. That's truly insane and your selfie game would be elevated to a whole new level. The A51 has a decently sized 4000 mAh battery on board and you get a USB type C port for charging. On top of that, consumers get the Samsung quality, brand recognition, and excellent durability. The overall design of A51 is very similar to that of Samsung's flagship smartphones released this year. That's a good thing, as the design language is very modern and will age pretty well. So despite being a sub $300 budget device, it delivers a very premium feel. You can get this device with a pretty amazing selection of RAM and storage options. With a 4GB RAM, you can avail the 128GB storage option. And if somehow that's not enough storage for you guys, it also has a dedicated memory slot that can support micro SD cards up to 128 gigs. Lastly, the A51 has the very trendy under-the-screen fingerprint sensor which is really practical and accurate while providing a very upmarket feel to the device itself. Number 3 
Samsung A21s. So if it happens that you still don't want to spend quite that much, the Samsung A21s is a newer smartphone. It has been out there for quite a while now and it has some pretty decent and reasonable specifications as well. This tiny boy has a 6.5 inches IPS display with a quad camera set up on its back. The primary shooter is a similar 48 megapixels, an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a pair of 2 megapixel lenses for macro and depth sensing. To our surprise, the A21S houses a 5000 mAh battery, which can be charged using a USB Type-C port, which again is a very welcoming feature. With this huge battery pack, this is going to last you for days of usage. The display not being that demanding, so this beefy power supply will easily get you to 3-4 to four days of standby times. Not confuse yourself with the A21 as it was launched earlier this year. The A21S holds a better value for money overall. The base storage option is also a very desirable point of A21S with 64 gigabytes of internal storage, it got you covered mostly. Number 4. Blue G90 Pro Next up is the Blue G90 Pro. This is very underrated smartphone brand and it just released the G90 Pro. It has been around for quite a while and developing budget smartphones under the radar, starting out with the huge 6.5 inches IPS display panel. It has amazing 91% screen to body ratio, which translates to maximum screen real estate and almost zero bezels. It's great for consuming media content. On back, we get a triple camera setup with again a 48 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel for macro shots. Moreover, it has a MediaTek MT6785 Helo G90T chipset, which is reasonably powerful with a massive capacity of 128 gigabytes internal storage. It has a king size 5100 mAh battery pack that can give you a battery life of about 3 days and is charged using a USB Type-C port. It also supports fast charging, however, it may be noted that it doesn't ship with a fast charger. The consumers will have to buy that separately. Number 5. LG Stylo 6 Last to make our list is a phone by LG, the LG Stylo 6. For all those Galaxy Note fans out there, it's a quite bargain device to get. The main selling point of this smartphone is to be the stylus support. This year it features a more refined design. The click mechanism is pretty addictive we must say. On top, the pressure sensitivity is also much better than last year's. Up front it has a massive 6.8 inches IPS display panel with a moderate 82% screen to body ratio. Though it's a budget phone, it has a very respectable 395 pixels per inch density. It's powered by a MediaTek MT6765 Helo P35, which in itself is really performing chipset. We get a slightly smaller 4000 mAh battery pack, which is again charged using a USB Type-C port. It does not support the fast charging capability. The palm rejection while using the stylus is pretty accurate, though we recommend that you don't expect much practicality out of it as the software support is a bit of a bummer. For taking quick notes, it's a very useful feature. So, what do you think about this video? Tell us in the comment section below and please subscribe to the Dumb Media channel for more interesting videos. And hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the interesting videos we plan to post next. And don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching The Dumb Media. See you in the next video episodes. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.